Hello, everybody. Knowledgeable Carmel here. And yes, that's my new handle. Um, I hope you enjoy it. We've gone through an evolution here from the domestic beauty goddess to grit and grace honey, which I still really love, to Knowledge Broker Mel. And hopefully that'll be the last one. I'm always thinking of new names, just depending on what my platform is, what I'm trying to convey in my social media or my videos, etc. So Knowledge Broker Mel, I just found was a nice general way of saying that I'll go out and find you information and spit it back, regurgitate it to you, and you take it and do with it what you will. So there's Knowledge Broker Mill in a nutshell. Being that, um, you know, I've had experience in the beauty industry and real estate industry, and now I'm getting more into investments and things of that. And of course, you know, being a mom and a domestic beauty goddess, <laughs> there's a lot of tips and tricks that I can offer as, for that as well. So, you know, I don't know everything. You're always welcome to chime in. You're always welcome to participate. This is a participation participation flat platform. Whatever I put out there, we are always open for discretion. Um, I don't tolerate trolls though. So if that's what you plan on doing, then that's not gonna work. Uh, you'll easily get blocked. Uh, but if you wanna discuss something, even if it's in an opposing view of anything I post, you're always welcome to because I welcome debate and conversation and open dialogue. But Again, thank you for following. Thank you for watching Knowledge Broker Mel. Today's video, well not today's, but this video, this morning's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Endless Brow Gel Pen by Pixie by Petra. So I don't know if you guys have seen this brand, but you can find it in uh, Target. Um, I'm sure it's available other places too. When I saw it in Target, I was like, oh, you know, another makeup brand, whatever. It's kind of inexpensive, but I needed a new brow product. So I was like, you know, I'll give this a try. I'm always willing to give a try. I love trying products. Obviously, I love reviewing products and giving my um, two cents about it. But truly looking at, you know, ingredients and the branding and the packaging and the performance of the product, I just love evaluating it. It's something that I'm very passionate about and have been passionate about since I was very young. So it's nothing new for me. Um, so today, I've been using this product and I actually really, really enjoy it, but I wanted to do a video on it because it's kind of an unusual product. And we're up in my face today. Um, I'm using this really cool stand from Amazon that it might be my new favorite. And this is my first official makeup video with it, so I hope you guys like it. Anyway, all right, so I've sharpened the tip. Um, what I've found with this, I'm wearing the medium. This is actually my second one. That's how much I like it. This is the first one and I still use that one too, but just so you know, this product does go pretty quickly because it's not a typical pencil um, that just draws on kind of like, uh, you. most bra brow pencils actually do uh, go and you know, you use them pretty quickly. This one is even faster because it's a brow gel pencil. So this is pretty much what I'm gonna use today if I don't have to sharpen it and use it again. Um, oftentimes when I get a nice uh, sharp edge like that um, because it's so soft <laughs> oftentimes uh, it'll break then I get a tissue and I kind of uh, smoosh it into a point again and then complete but what I like about it and I'll show you right here is that I can just use it I try to be light-handed and just kind of draw the, the bottom angle as you can see here I've broken the tip as I do every day, and that's my one gripe about this, is that it's so um, soft that I do that, even when I try not to. But the thing about that is it's because it's almost like a pomade in a pencil. That's why I like it though, because for years I've been using the Anastasia pomade, um, you know, dip brow, and I like it a lot. And I've used their, I'm not sure if I, I know I have some in my makeup kit, but the Anastasia, Anastasia pencil um, for lining. I do enjoy that product, but you literally get like this much product. So you just go through it like crazy, especially on myself or clients. So I keep a couple in my makeup kit because it doesn't go as quickly. I don't do as much makeup these days, but for myself personally, um, using brow products every single day, I just go through it way too quickly. And I think they're about $20 each. This guy right here, I think is $12. If I'm not mistaken, I'll fact check myself. But um, even though I go through it, maybe like one in a month or something, it's still pretty economical. So you can see I have just drawn the bottom uh, angle of my eye here. And I'm just going to continue. I like to do the bottom first. 
because that's where you get your arch. A nice little consistent, okay? And obviously, I'm not gonna spend 500 hours on my eyebrows, okay? If you follow my channel before, you know that I'm not the beauty blogger that's gonna show you how to do a look in hours and hours and hours. I'm a mom of three, I run three businesses. <laughs> I try to have some kind of social platform, but truly my makeup style as a beautician for over 15 years is, you know what, get it on, look good, and as low effort as possible, but look like you're high maintenance, okay? So I just drew the bottom and just like cleaned up my arch. I did just get my eyebrows done yesterday and that's helping a lot. So I'm just defining what they did yesterday. Since I got threaded and defined underneath my brow, cleaned everything up, everything was much quicker. When my brows are unruly, it's a lot more work. Okay, so I'm just trying to do as little product as possible and just do the bottom arches. Now you can do as thin or as thick as you want. I don't know, I always have to like make angry face to see if it's symmetrical or not. Okay, so now that the bottom is done, now I'm gonna do the top. See that? And yeah, I do strokes too, but today I'm just gonna do a line because I'm kind of in a hurry. Obviously it was a hair wash day, so you know, it really cut into my time of trying to get to the office. I have a lot of filming to do. I'm feeling quite inspired and my kids are like happy and healthy right now and it's wonderful and I'm just like, you know what? When they're set up, I try to use my time away from my children as effectively as possible. So today I think I'm gonna film. So as you can see, I just kind of matched the top going down, got the arch going, not so much in the middle. Now I'll do the other side. See, this is more like strokes. You could definitely do a line or strokes, whatever. You get the same effect. Okay, and then up here, we got a downward stroke. Just like when I'm microblading, this hair goes downward. All right, well, not the cleanest eyebrow today, but you know what? I don't really care because the magic happens when I bring in my beautiful spoolie, if I can find her. Did I pick her up and put her somewhere? Where's my spoolie, bitch? All right, now I'm gonna rename this video. Watch me be completely lost in my vanity for about 10 minutes. All right, well, I don't know. You know, I got minions that run around here and just destroy my whole vanity all the time. So I'm really lucky if I can find anything most of the time. So I'm not finding my spoolie ATM. So what I'm gonna do children they're becoming more and more obsessed with makeup so they get into my shit a lot all right well that was a fail so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna get this little angle brush that i usually use my dip pomade there's actually a little bit of it in there and i'm just gonna get the middle and just kind of soften it and i'm just softening up that brow and then here I'm just going to kind of clean it up. Now you can see it's a little ashy right here. So I'm just going to take my finger. I know that's super technical. You could use a brush or a sponge if you want to. Boom. There's my brow. And my eyes kind of red today. I don't really know why. Probably my allergies have been insane. So you see how it's kind of heavy. It's kind of waxy. Just taking the center. I'm not adding any kind of product. Okay. Just notate that. And I'm just softening it up because I don't know where my spoolie is. So this is going to work for now and then I kind of just encourage a smooth transition and angle this one is a little pointy for my liking a little ashy so I'm just kind of softening that up there we go all right well there it is um I like this product because again it is very resistant so if I'm perspiring if it's a hot day it doesn't disappear like a powder would uh, the dip brow pomade it does not last as long but I can put it on without a tool and then just kind of buff it out with a tool um, you can see that it's very neutral it's not super ashy um, and you can create not to mention this, so you can create more strokes if you want to which I do sometimes today's brown not so much so you can totally do little mini strokes and have them feel like hair because the wax is in it or you can do like I did today and just kind of like outline what you want and then use a spoolie or a brush to kind of soften it so 
that's my um, take on the Medium Endless Brow Gel Pen by Pixie. Uh, it's very fragile. You do go through it kind of quickly, but at least you get a lot of product in this, unlike other brands. And uh, the color medium is very neutral. It's not too warm. That's something that kills me when a, bra a brush or a brow product is super warm and you look like you have bright orange brows. Um, it's not a good look. It's only a good look if you're looking from very far. And you <laughs> if you're looking from very far, sure, it looks nice. It defines your face. But we're not talking about theater makeup here. We're talking about every day someone sitting right next to me under fluorescent lights makeup. And um, I want to look, you know, as natural-ish as possible. I don't want to look like I'm wearing a full face. So for the remainder of the video, I'm just going to finish my, uh, complete the rest of my makeup. And then you tell me if you like this brow pencil. Have you tried it? Have you tried other colors? What's your experience? So let me know in the comments and enjoy the rest of my makeup.